Hello, I'm Dr. Kemi Olunloyo. It's the 22nd, Sunday, the 22nd of June, 2024. I want everybody to listen carefully. I'm going to do this video in Yoruba and English. I'm going to do English first. Jack Jewel, you started this nonsense, okay? One thing I don't like about social media, okay? I have two months left on social media with you guys. One thing I hate about social media is when people use their platforms to create a topic around Kemi Olunloya so that their audience can abuse me. Stop it. Jack Jewel, you started this nonsense. Nobody asked you to do a video on justice for Mubad because Kemi Olunloya stops justice for Mubad, okay, doesn't mean we have stopped. Now, first of all, I wasn't part of justice for Mubad. I've never been. I joined justice for Mubad on the 27th of May, 2024. And I said, I want to lead this activism group. The reason I joined is because I did an investigation and the investigation is being ignored by Nigerian police. And I decided that let's activate with these people. What I discovered when I started the activism is nobody was interested anymore. Nobody. Okay. Now the investigation I did in the Mobad's case, ask yourself, why didn't anybody investigate this case? Okay, everybody should ask their fucking selves. Why didn't any media, any journalist investigate this case? Why is it Kemi Olunloya that touches these cases that they're all scared to touch? I did Koza. I did Debanj. Those were rape cases. I did the Koi building that fell. I did so many investigations. COVID, Abakiari's death. So much I did in that Nigeria. But you don't appreciate the fact that somebody actually stands up, puts their money into it. I lived in Nigeria 11 years and I did not get a salary. I worked with no salary for 11 years. I used my money to do a lot of my investigation and I depended on donations. When I depended on donations, you call me beggar. Well, yet you want the news, but you don't contribute to it. Do you know how media works? If nobody hires you at a media house, it's because they're scared of the NBC. Many people told me that. Channels TV told me that. So many radio and TV stations told me that. If Kemi says something on the radio now, they're going to fine us or shut us down. And it's true. This is what your country has turned into Nigeria. Look at this post. Jadjoel TV. Don't encourage this kind of nonsense. Okay, because if I have to pick people out and go to the Nigerian police, I've locked two people up before. I will lock everybody up. Okay? I don't know who Victoria Kletus is, but this bitch wrote, Kemi Oluloyo. I'm not Oluloyo. Igbos are the ones that do that. It's probably an Igbo girl. What crazy words are you saying? Or by Lego, she has paid you. That I'm not going to tolerate. I am not going to entertain that bullshit. I will deal with you mercilessly. I don't know about Legushi. He hasn't paid me or anyone hasn't paid me. I heard this throughout my career in Nigeria. Koza, Fatso Ibo has paid you. Dibanj has paid you. Lagos State has paid you. Even a journalist, the one that was arrested by the Nigerian police that was just released after Amnesty International and everybody was screaming online, Daniel Ojuku, he also accused me of being paid by Son Olu to say that nobody died during the NSARS at Lekki Tollgate. I didn't find anybody dead. I went there, I did an investigation, okay? I went to mortuaries, six mortuaries. Do you know what it is to go to six mortuaries? All I saw was people shot. At the end of the day, the panel came up with three people dead at Lekki. Two drowned, one shot. Okay? Don't ever, ever say in your fucking lives that somebody paid me. I'm not going to tolerate that. I'm not in this profession anymore. I've retired 30 years and I think I did very well. You don't know half the shit going on in Nigeria. This week, I want to expose everybody in Nigeria. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. All right. I told the story of Daisy Danjuma, who took a photo with Chioma and Davido. You can see it on my Twitter, my Facebook, and my Instagram. I'm not going to post anything everywhere, but I'm just saying this. Don't come up with this nonsense. How can't you be misleading people? I mean, this, this person has poor English. How can't you be misleading people after you claim you wanted to help poor man that lost his son? This is the reason why journalists never insert themselves into stories. 
It is an ethic. We're not supposed to insert ourselves into stories. I was not part of Justice for Mobile. I was a journalist and I spent $7,000 of my own money and 2,000 of it donations from people who cared. And none of you in Nigeria donated. It was mostly people abroad. What deception you are. Victoria Cletus, may God punish your family and you. Okay, may God deal with you mercilessly. I'm not even going to deal with you. All you bastards that talk like this need to stop. And I wrote you a stupid, I don't know, Elegushi, and I did an almost $7,000 investigation. I don't need a GoFundMe. Jack Joel, Joel, you are saying that eh, if you need a GoFundMe, we'll open it for you. No, no, no. Activism is when you're born to serve. Activism and volunteerism. I don't do activism anymore. I did gun violence. Okay, in Canada, and I did drug abuse in America. And if anything, I'll go back to drug abuse because I still do it. But drug abuse is not activism. It's really advocacy. When it comes to all these human rights things, I don't want to be part of it. Okay, I left that whole thing two weeks after. One, people were not interested. Two, the autopsy was fake. What do you do? I did an investigation September to November of 2023 and submitted it to the CP. They ignored it. What did I write on it? Did I not tweet it? Wumi killed Mobad. I did not use non-affirmative words. I did not say allegedly. I simply said Wumi killed Mobad and I tweeted it seven times. And when I tweeted it eight times and I posted it on my Instagram, Instagram detected the tweet and they banned my monetization for three months because I said Nigerian police must determine Mobad's death, a homicide. They're not going to do that. A senator, two or three monarchs, two or three politicians, there's a lot of big people behind Wumi who are shielding her for prosecution. Nothing's going to happen. You're a Nigerian. Nothing happens. Nothing changes in Nigeria. So please don't mention my name next to Elegushi or anybody. All right? And I'm putting this phone down so you can read what I wrote. I don't need a GoFundMe, please. I've done my investigation. You bastards think solid journalism is about bribes. Who else investigated Mubad's death? Anybody else? Nobody. And you said, when English, you got him on Sonic, but Lori Bruku on Victoria Clare, so I pay Elegushi to Sawo Femi, let me say, Kuro Ninu, justice for Mubad. She has a reason to see journalists who got a word justice for anything. Emi Owani, part of Justice for Mobad, no enter activism case. Ni ba ti mo interview baba ton. Ti mo deri autopsy ati bogbe. Mistake ni mo she. But ti ba ti mo bere activism. I want you are interested mo. Want to move on. Bogbo music industry dake. Emma Ronu yi, emi ni koni mo investigate case. $7,000 ni mo no. $5,000 ni mo wo mi. Ote ki mo no ki fik badun. Jack Joel sakwe, ntore mi sakwe ki baba Mobad lo si Mobad. Could she private funeral? It's up to the man what he wants to do. It was a suggestion for me. It was a suggestion from me. At this point, toxicology were too late. Only since only she autopsy, if anything touched his body and all that. And I recommend that. But it's money. It's a lot of money. I want you that was where you go for me. One that will my mobile. It's a lot of money. And then he's going to need probate lawyers and everything. I've closed my case. I'm done. And it's very shocking that all the investigations I've done that I've handed to police, a lot of it corresponded to their own investigation. This is the only one that they've ignored. And it hurts me. So please don't let me hear from anybody's mouth. And all you fucking fools that you commented in Jack Joe's um, page, all right, don't even try it again with me because I will arrest people. I'm not playing around. I don't take bribes from my work. All right? In two months, you won't even hear of my name on social media anymore. I don't want anything to do in Nigeria. Please.